After 19 years of confinement, Mary is suddenly told that she will die the next morning at Fotheringay Castle, February the 8th, 1587. I did not think the Queen, my sister, would have consented to my death. But seeing that your pleasure is so, death shall be to me most welcome. Do not accuse me of presumption if on the eve of leaving this world and preparing myself for a better one, I remind you that one day you will have to answer for your charge. Mary had decided that she would die a death that would always be remembered. She was going to go for a Catholic martyrdom. If she couldn't win in life, she would triumph in death. Mary may not have had much sense, but what she did have was great style. And right until the end, she kept that up. She's dressed in black. She's got a cross in one hand, a Latin prayer book in the other. There's a rosary around her wrist. I hope you shall make an end to all my troubles. She shows charity to her executioner. She consoles her weeping ladies. Under her outer garments, she's dressed in tawny, red, the color of martyrdom. There's even sort of gallows humor that you get. So she jokes with her executioner that uh, she hasn't had such a servant undressing her before, and certainly not in front of the audience that she had there. I have never taken off my clothes before such a company. Emanus tuus domine, commendo spiritu me. 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 Emanus tuus domine. The first stroke goes right into the back of the neck. She continues playing, praying, into thy hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit in Latin. The second blow goes really nine tenths of the way, but he finishes it off using the act as a meat lever. The headsman picks up the head, as you do, and say, God save the queen, except that, of course, Mary was wearing a wig, so the head rolls off the stage like a football. In a sense, it's a terribly fitting kind of end, because, like so much of Mary Queen of Scots' life, it's theatrical. And very good theatre this time. In my end is my beginning. In my end is my beginning. That was so apt. She's been immortalized after her death in many ways as the ultimate doomed heroine, the e. damsel in distress, also as a figure of Scots nationalism in a way against those beastly English. And perhaps above all, she is the ultimate Catholic martyr. <laughs>